show choir scene. Um, one of the biggest things I do with my music is um, just independently, I do it all. I'm a producer, I produce all my music. You can make your dreams come true with this technology. Like, I made it all on my phone. It's just the practice, the dedication, the hard work, and just going after my dreams, not caring. You know, I, you, you don't have studio time, so what? Make the studio in your bedroom, bring the studio to you. No, don't make any more excuses for your dreams and just start pulling them into fruition and they will happen. You just gotta, you know, because I realized I could just start one day at a time and live my life as if I'm living my dreams and bring that in every single day. And so I started off picturing, okay, so what do I envision my life if I had the dream life and I could do everything I wanna do in my life, what would it be? I'm gonna commit, I'm just gonna do it, and I'm gonna bring some happiness to people through my voice and through my music. So. How I ended up here? Um, well, uh, I ended up here because I, um, I'm just all about spreading love and light and truth, and I don't wanna be controlled. Um, and I escaped. I was adopted, pretty much sex trafficked, into this um, adopted family who was just breeding me to be this little robot and not have feelings, not have emotions. When I first started awakening to the truth of what was going on in this world, then they tried to throw me in mental hospitals when I was 16 and 17. And I've just been fighting for my awakening and fighting for answers and fighting for, you know, the less fortunate out here, you know, and, and uh, I, when I was a kid, I was part of anti-bullying club, and, and just I've always wanted to be on the right side of history of good. And you know, I don't need a big conglomerate to do that. I, I had to leave family because they weren't good for me and my mental health and what I was trying to pursue, and they were just trying to hold me back. And you know, sometimes you just gotta. If you're the only one that sees the vision, if you're the only one that sees better for yourself, you know, that was the thing. I just didn't want to stay stagnant. I didn't want to stay stuck. And um, I had to leave some people behind to chase my dreams of, you know, wanting to see a better world for this place. And that's how I ended up here because, you know, I almost, I almost didn't come here. You know, I almost didn't come to this place because I was scared because, you know, I dealt with the mental hospitals when I was a child and stuff like that. And even then, that's what helped me, you know, actually connect myself, not even mental hospitals, but going to a stay away facility where they had actually music therapy there. And in the music therapy, um, I learned ukulele at that retreat. It was in Camarillo. And I there just met some wonderful, beautiful people that really cared about helping children, helping kids with mental illnesses and not just trying to um, shove pills down their throat, but really getting to the root of the issue. And I was able to get back into my poetry and get back into the writing and realize it wasn't that I didn't have a love for music. It was just, I want to be able to express myself and I don't want to be um, controlled or have some other, you know, manipulation tactic used to be able to get that out there. And, you know, because of that, I'm here get, being able to give my gifts to people, you know, that need the healing, that need the love. Um, if my story and what I went through can help the next person, I'm going to do it. That's why I have my platforms. That's why I have my YouTube channels. That's why I'm just here. It's because we're still people. We all deserve love. We all deserve music and to smile and happiness. And if I can bring that with myself, then I will do that. <laughs>
Thank you.